Welcome to this terra. I'm out here about in the world collecting more rocks. In the last episode, I went to the satellite station up here, but unfortunately, I couldn't find my dead body and I couldn't recover my stuff. I left also the advanced diamond orb right there, but today I'm gonna go for something different. I wanna go for the chemo chamber. My base is not that far away, but it's still a little bit far. So, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna try to start the base right there. Because apparently we can build quite close to these POIs. I tried it in the satellite station, it kind of worked. I have a bunch of stuff on me. I'm gonna try to find a car and I'm gonna try also to come back for the base to bring even more stuff. I also have another skill point which I'm gonna use right now. And I think I'm gonna use for this for more inventory slots. So now let's take a look and I got all of this. That's nice. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try to cut through here. I'm still a little bit far. My marker should be there. And let's start a new base. It will be a support base. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna put down all the machines that I need. But I think it's definitely it's gonna be nice to have a support base. This mission should be pretty tough. So let's see how it goes. I'm currently over there. Making my way through the chemo chamber. And I actually managed to find a nice cut through here. But look at all the things in front of me. These are fine rocks. We can actually harvest them. And there's a good concentration of them right here. So danger level 3 is definitely the place to build. Because the resources are just more compact. There are fine resources and superior resources. And we get a lot more stuff in the same time. So yeah. I'm gonna have to grab a bunch of this stuff. And these rocks are really sweet. Not only that. There's a door, an orbital supply right in front of me. So th this should, looks like a pretty cool place to build. Look at that, this nice valley. Even though we don't need water, it's kind of nice to build next to the water. You have these fine terracite deposits and those fine rocks just up ahead. And I collected all of them and already got 700 rocks, which is awesome. And I believe this orbital supply should allow me to get even more stuff. Like metals and rocks, which I'm gonna need to build a base. So... I was able to place down a block right next to the satellite station base and I got a bunch of cool stuff and uh, I'm actually gonna eat these things and uh, I think I'm gonna drop them because I'm not sure if I picked everything up. Let's see. Yes, I did. So let's pick up the beans. Uh, I was able to place down a block right next to the satellite station base. Uh, right here. So... But I'm still not sure if I'm going to be able to core it. Because if I can't core at the base right there, I'm not going to be able to use the workbench and the forges and stuff like that. So that would be nice. So let's see. So I have to go around. So there's this nice little path with a bunch of bears. I think I'm going to follow it and try to go around. Even though right here could also be a nice little place to start it. But that thing is not reachable. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. If I had a ship... I could go up there, but I don't. So this side wouldn't be too good to come in with it. No, I think I better come from that side because it actually has a road coming this way. And there's also one right here. So maybe I'm going to go for this spot because it's a little bit closer. Right here. Seems like a good spot. This seems to be one of the entrances. There it is. It's a big old ramp. So let's actually see how close I can build because I would like also to bring some turrets. So at least while I'm at the base, if I can call them out, I can use the turrets to defeat a few robots. So let's see. You can actually go pretty close. The thing is, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to core it right here. But what if I start a base right on this spot? Because there's that shield. So at least for now, the robots can't come down. But if I destroy one of those shields, they can come through. And once they come all the way here, they're going to get... Something tells us that you shouldn't build anything here. Uh, so I gotta go a little bit far out. Even though it's showing blue. So I think I'm gonna build right here in the middle. Still can't build right here. Oh man. How far do I have to go? Uh, because it doesn't seem too far. But it's kind of far from my base. So that's why I kind of wanted to come all the way here. This strategy I should have used it on this thing. The satellite station. But it will take some time, you know, and uh, I don't have all the time in the world to actually record this stuff. But uh, okay, let's see how far I have to go, because right here will be a pretty cool spot. There's a lot of good resources here. 
I got the stone there, I got Terracite. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a pretty cool place. And there it is. I got the start of a nice little base. A little thing. Should be okay. Let's just put a little ramp here. And uh, I think this one should be good. There we go. It's coming into the floor, but I think it should be just fine. So this will be a support base for me. So let's start crafting some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna need a core. So let's build one. Let's go to devices. Let's build a core. I actually managed to grab my working bench, my workbench from my previous base, my first base, and it stayed in, in place. So it's kind of interesting. So let's do also one of these. And I'm going to place down the workbench so that I can make uh, a big box. So first, let's see if I can put down the core. Of course, I don't have room for a lot of these things. So in fact, Let's drop some stuff on the floor. I hope they stay. So where did the core go? That's a good question. Okay, so he wasn't done yet. So now it is. So let's just plank it somewhere. There we go. Let's put some terracite into it. Uh, this should be enough. 18,000. Nice. Okay, so now I got a new base. That's pretty sweet. I think I'm going to do a little change here. And I'm going to do a little bit of a balcony. So I'm actually going to put a door right here. Maybe just an entrance and uh, a few of these foundations here. Nice. With a little bit of a wall. So I can come out here in safety and take a look at what I'm dealing with. Which is the chemo chamber. Let's put down a bed. I think right here should be just fine. There you go. And let's see. There you go. So now I got these two choices. Uh, this uh, bed never disappeared. The ones that I placed on the floor actually disappeared after a while. So I wonder if it will remain because now it's actually on a foundation and on a base. So I kind of hoping that this one will stay. So I'm actually going to rename them and uh, I'm going to call it Aloxav Kimochem. Chmochman. Chmochem. I think it should work. At least uh, when I die, I'm gonna know that this one is right here. Nice. Okay, so... Yeah. Let's build a power board. Just metals and electrical wires. And I think I'm gonna put it... Um, right here. Let's put in the workbench, which is down there. There you go. And later on, I'm also going to try to build myself a couple forges. But for now, I don't, I don't think I'm going to need a repair bench. I would like to do... What would I like to do? Uh, a big boxes. That's what I need. So let's go here. Storage box large. I think I'm going to do a couple of them. Like one of them I'm going to put in like weapons, armor. And the other one for the resources. And uh, in case I need to, I could be... Uh, also able to do a third one so yeah i got plenty of room i don't think this would actually need to be as big as it is but uh, it should be fine okay so let's just wait on the boxes and build something else i think i might also build a little bit of a roof might be better so let's see if i'm gonna need any pillars it would it'd be nice if i didn't need them uh i placed it outside yeah there you go nice and i placed it outside again Kind of tricky to see. Maybe I'm just... And I place it outside again. Okay, man. So here I would need some pillars. So let's see if just one will be enough. Because I can just put them back there. Let's see if it's enough. Nope. I'm actually not sure if any pillar will be good. Because the power board is in that block. But okay, it seems like it's working, so now we're kind of enclosed. So if I get shot or something, for example, if they are up there and they start shooting, might, they might be able to hit me through the for, through the roof. So I kind of figure I need a roof. This roof right here could be a little bit different. So let's just remove these things and uh, let's actually put the triangular one. Here is going to be low stability. So let's see if I can put a pillar right here. There you go. Where, where is he going? Oh, it's right there. Okay, not too bad. This pillar, is the, I can move around it just fine. So he should be... Uh, well, I kind of get stuck there. But okay, not too bad. 
my boxes are in let's pick them up and let's start putting some stuff down because i didn't retrieve a car on the way here and i would like definitely to go and get one so i think i'm gonna put them like this and to save me some room and it's gonna be easy to access them there you go so here let's start putting in some resources everything and i, I don't even care if it's fine or not fine let's just put all the stuff i might just keep the the stone the metal the fiber uh yeah i could also use another box for meds and food uh yep so let's do another one because it, it gets full pretty, pretty fast so i'm gonna do a large one and i'm also gonna do a little grail as you can see i got a few new weapons these ones i retrieve in the hyena support base i went there again and I found a couple of these, so that's nice because I can't fix them, so I'm going to bring them with me. I actually have three, so that's what I'm going to keep the weapons, the spare ones. And I also brought one of these, I also found there. Uh, but this one I can actually craft myself. This one's not so much, but okay, I got also some armor. Let's actually spread it around a little bit. There you go, I'm not going to need to find stuff for now. So let's just put it there and let's see if I have the box and the grill. Nice put the grill because that actually is a, a different recipe that uh, we can craft i'm gonna put it here right next to the, well if i'm gonna have a box i had a lot of room so let's put it back here so as you can see i have the kebab so what you do is you grab bear meat and elk meat and then let's go to consumables we turn it into uncooked uncooked kebab on ourselves it's just one each and then we place it in the grill and it does this nice kebab which is 40 food it doesn't do the bleeding cure that the bear meat does but it does give a little bit more food because i believe the bear meat is just 30. i would like also to do a couple of forges maybe just one for the terracite because the fine metal yeah but I'm, I'm gonna need one for my fine metal because even though i find it in pois i'm also gonna use a lot of it so it might be better to just craft a couple of forges so five resistors 10 resistors and metals did i i think i brought the resistors right these are cylinders lens where are the resistors there they are 69 should be enough so let's do a couple of forges there you go and uh, i don't think i'm gonna need anything else i haven't used this terracite transmitter Uh, apparently we can buy the escape rocket boarding code i haven't played with it yet so i don't think i'm gonna use it integrated utility control i think this is for controlling the base from uh, elsewhere and in fact i could have tried to use this thing integrated management device that shows all production within the shelter and operates them but i think it must have to be placed on the base itself so that i could have like this all of this enclosed and protected with a second or even third wall and I could just access that thing from the outside and work the, the workbench and the forges and stuff like that. But I think it would have to be placed right here. It's not like it's a, a remote control thing, you know? I don't think. But then again, I haven't tried it. So let's just put in the forges. And with the pillars now... Okay, I can put one there. It seems to be an issue. I had this issue before. Because of the damn pillars. And if I remove the pillars, that floor over there is going to be a little yeah what if i rotate it no i can put it there can i okay let's put it there then so let's put in some terracite and let's start making some fine let's keep it at 100 i got 17,000, which should be okay for now and let's drop off the rest because i'm gonna go back home and try to retrieve a lot more stuff so i'm gonna try to bring more weapons uh, the the compensators and those things that i have because it will be just faster to sweep the switch the weapon swap the weapon and not have to remove all the attachments and also meds and stuff like that and i think i also might have some spare armor so i'm gonna go back to base try to find a vehicle and come back here and uh, let's see how it goes because i don't think this is gonna be easy what a view so you might be thinking how the hell did i reach here well i jumped from all the way there and uh, I actually came from up the mountain. I'm going back to my base. And uh, the fall damage is not too intense. So we can actually drop from big heights. Th this time I actually got quite a bit of damage. And let me actually see if it damages like my boots. Doesn't seem like it does. 
So I grab a little bit more oh, meat. I'm gonna try to get an elk to do more kebabs. And uh, this is a good place to come because there are superior terracite nodes underneath the water. And I would definitely like to find one or two. So there's a fine, but there are also those red ones. The problem is I don't have skills in the max breathing, so I can't stand underneath too much. But there's one right there. See, those give a lot. For example, this one already gives a, a bunch more than the normal ones. But I gotta go up and breathe. There you go. Even though it still looks like I'm underneath the water, I'm actually in the surface because the lungs are going up. So let's try to get that one. Where is it? There it is. This red one is really cool. It's a superior one. I found these ones outside of the water too, but here they also exist, so it's kind of nice to grab them. And it's actually pretty fast. Nice. So a vehicle would also be nice. I was actually considering going back to the satellite station to get the advanced dynamo, but I think one of the ones that we can fix in the world should be good. I see my next victim. Let's get him. Goddamn tree. Get out of the way, dude. Jesus, that was a lot of bullets. So I'm gonna grab this elk because I wanna do more kebabs, as I mentioned before. And uh, so I already have some bear meat. Now I'm gonna do some of... where is it? Uncooked kebab, max. And uh, back at base, I should be able to cook this stuff. So the, the problem that I have right now is the fine chips. I don't have a lot of those. So I'm not really going to be able to do the really nice stealth protocols and the shield ones. So I'm um, going to have to see. Because then again, if I just go around trying to get some fine chips, where I'm going to find them is in these normal POIs. Like this one, or this one, or that one. But I'm going to use ammo. I'm going to use up my armor and my weapons. So I could go there, get the chips, but then I will have to go again to the Hyena support base to get new armor and also new weapons. So there's an, an, an endless cycle there, you know? And uh, the beta actually uh, uh, ends today, I believe. So I don't think... Yeah, let's leave these notes. I'm gonna have enough time to do all that. I would definitely like to go into the chemo chamber. You can relax now. You've moved away from the Hyena dropship. There's also a dropship there. It just showed up. I could try to go there because it should have some nice stuff. Definitely. And I kind of forgot they already had a vehicle here. And it's a working one. I already retrieved it on my own time. And I could... Why aren't you inside the garage, dude? That... I built a garage for you and you stay out here. It's like you, you're your own entity, aren't you? I hope you were. Okay, so I just run back and forth and I had a vehicle right here and I didn't notice. But uh, let's move on, shall we? So let's cook this kebab. And uh, it shows up on the recipes here. I didn't notice. It was here, but uh, my bad. Because it actually, I just took two. My health was all the way down here. And it filled me up completely. So I think, I think it's good. So let's just cook four of them. And let's see what else I can bring. So I'm definitely going to bring these packs here and uh, these extra medical shots and I still have a few weapons that I could bring for example I could bring one of these melees for, uh, just to try it out this one I'm gonna bring because I can fix it the shotguns I don't think I'm gonna bring what I'm actually gonna bring is these turrets so let's bring him over these snipers I don't think I'm gonna bring neither because they're almost out and let's see uh, so I got vertical grip an extended magazine which is nice and uh, that's pretty much it so let's see. I got these cards. I don't think I'm gonna bring them. I'm gonna bring the tire in case I lose this truck. And uh, so let's see. I have a shield protocol level 4. Which is nice. I think I'm gonna bring this level 2. I'm not gonna use it right now, but I'm gonna bring it. And the armor. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bring this one because it's not that great. This one. Reinforced fiber pants. It's not too bad. I might bring these ones. And I have a reinforced fiber jacket, don't I? No fiber shirt. Yeah, it's not worth it. So let's see in resources. What could I bring a little bit more? Uh, maybe more metal and more terracites, actually. Because I'm gonna need it for ammo too. And uh, here, I think I might bring fine cylinders. And let's see if I have some spare ammo. Because these turrets 
half of them are light ammo and these ones are energy so I'm gonna need all of it the slugs I'm not gonna need I think it must be all let's just see if I got a little bit more of this nice I'm gonna leave it running let's see how the power is going uh, 78,000 I think we should be okay and uh, I think that's it that's another thing that I could bring is a couple of these cards actually just one because every single time that I go to the hyena support base which is all the way here I always find new cards and I drop them so I think one should be enough now it would be kind of nice to go for that drop ship so maybe I'm actually gonna drop all this stuff and try to get that stuff in the dropship because it should have some cool things. Still got five minutes on it, so let's get them. Should be a bunch of soldiers though. That's you are getting closer to a hyena dropship. I know, Vanessa. Let me focus, dude. Soldiers. Just shut up for a second. Thank you. Let's see. There you go. I got the shield. This weapon is actually a little bit unwieldy. I haven't used it in a while. Yep. There you go. It's definitely... I'm used to the other one. The other energy weapon. And you see, the AI actually fights each other. The robots fight the bears constantly. Jesus. Definitely a little bit harder to control, so let's see, grab this stuff. Let's use the X, there you go. Nice little... Oh boy, run for it. A little healing protocol, came useful, nice. But he also uses up a lot of energy, because I still haven't upgraded my energy, my arm energy. We can go up to double. There you go. Nice. Let's see. Did I grab this guy? And you see, I got uh, three more cards. So, <laughs> I don't know why I brought them. Let's just go in. I don't think I have a lot of time. They are three and a half minutes. There you go. Where are you going, dude? Stand right here. Nice. So let's see, do I have the drop key? I still don't have the drop key. Because I need these guys to drop one of the, the key. Oh, there you go. Drop ship access key. That's the one that I need. So now I can open up this stuff and get the loot. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah, 10 fine chips. Another one of those melee weapons. Encrypted card. That was great. 10 chips was definitely worth it. The fine chips. Even though... Well, I might be able to do like a, a level 2 stealth pro protocol. Which I would definitely like to use. I, I'm enjoying the combination of stealth and shield. So it will be definitely nice to go to. So that was good. Just in time. So I'm gonna go back. Grab all the stuff that I dropped. And get this health. Thank you. And uh, then I'm gonna go back and get ready to attack the chemo chamber. Which I'm gonna do in the next episode. So, once again, I, I think this is a strategy that I should have done before. We can actually build a bunch of bases. I just don't know if, like, this one will start degrading or something, you know. This is just a second base, but I think that would be a good option. Uh, oh, that's just a shadow. There goes the ship. And, uh, for example, having a base next to the Geolab, another one next to the Meteor Center, and so forth, I think it would be a good strategy, because I would spawn much closer, and I would have spare resources right there so that's what i'm gonna try to do this time and i'm gonna be able to do some more kebab thank you very much so expect the next episode to me to go to the chemo chamber but for now thank you for watching and until next time